Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so so happy to have you back today for a new reading. I hope that all of you are doing amazing and having a wonderful day. So for today's reading, we'll be taking a look at why did destiny bring you to this exact specific reading today. Now before we begin with today's piles, I quickly want to talk about the full moon in Virgo we recently had on February 24th. Moon cycles have different meanings for each zodiac sign and I personally like to follow the developments of astrological events from the Mora app, which is an astrology app I've been really loving lately. You can read about the upcoming transits and moon cycles and how they will affect your personal life during that time. For me personally, it predicted that the full moon will lead to important decision making, especially when it comes to my relationships, and that it will be a period when I will be able to work through a lot of my current dilemmas regarding my life path. And now since that week has passed, I can say that the predictions did came true for me, even in the details. Another cool feature of the app that I think many of you will find interesting is the sign compatibility feature where you can check the compatibility of two zodiac signs and how both parties would work together in a relationship, friendship, or the workspace. If you guys are interested in trying the Moira app for free, you can find the link in the description box where you can get access to all the features and information I just mentioned previously completely for free by starting the free three-day trial. I hope that you guys give Moira a try and get to enjoy it yourself. So for today, we have three piles to choose from. We have pile number one with transformation, pile number two with change, and pile number three with simplicity. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to, and then you can skip to the timestamps which are in the description box, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hello, my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading today about why did destiny bring you to this video. So pile one for your card today, you guys chose the lovely transformation card. Okay, this is very beautiful image here. And what I heard for you, pile number one, while I was meditating on your energy, I heard that you're ready to change and you're ready to transform into like the fullest version of yourself or the highest version of yourself. So that's something that I picked up about your energy. It feels that a lot of you are kind of on the verge of fully transforming into your authentic self. That's kind of what I'm getting here from your energy. Let's start with some oracle cards to see palm number one. Why did destiny bring you to this reading today? Destiny, why did you bring palm number one to this reading today? Universe, can you please give us messages here? Let's see. You guys have the raven, wise woman. A change is coming. Wow, I love this energy, okay? A change is coming and you have transformation. For sure, there is something that's changing here about your life. Let's see what this is about. And you also have the cat speak your truth. Have strength, faith, and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. Wow, wait, I love this. You have speak truth. And I was saying something about you guys stepping into your true form, right? So it does feel like right now, destiny is pulling you towards becoming your authentic self and your true self. And there's something really important that, that destiny would like to tell you, pal number one here. Uh, it clearly says have strength, faith, and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. So destiny wants to encourage you to use your voice for something, use your words for something, your communication. Maybe there is a message that the world will benefit uh, to hear from you, right? Maybe you want to use your voice to sing. Maybe you want to use your voice to speak or to write, whatever it is. It feels like the world right now needs your voice or your community right now needs your voice or maybe your workspace needs your voice. So there is something that by the, it feels like your expression, your voice is going to create either change for you or change for the world. That is going to uh, cause a lot of transformation here. It feels like right now, the destiny wants to encourage you guys to use your voice. If you have been wanting to do it in some kind of way or form, express your words, express your truth. This is going to create change either in your life or in the world, in the workspace, uh, in your community, right? It depends on what you guys resonate with, but it does feel like it's going to trigger a change, a positive one as well. And you have wise woman. Maybe you're a woman. It doesn't have to be, you know, it can apply both to male and female, uh, but it feels like you're, you're very wise and what you have to say, the wisdom that you have 
will bring good change to the world. That's kind of what I'm getting here from your cards. But the, the destiny wants to encourage you guys to speak your truth. Be honest, right? You don't have to... You know, sometimes I feel that uh, people might be afraid to say the truth, right? Or to be honest, because sometimes the, you know, honesty can be a bit harsh. But in order for there to be change, sometimes we need to hear the honest truth. And it doesn't even have to be like harsh truth. Uh, some of you might be even like um, feeling insecure about being your authentic self. Uh, regarding voicing your opinions or you know singing maybe putting your voice out there uh, but i feel it's time for you to do that like it's time for you to step out of the cocoon you know with the butterfly here it's time to put yourself in the spotlight is what i'm hearing let's see what else would destiny like to tell you poem number one you have imagination I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So yeah, you guys are very creative. That's something that I'm getting. Perhaps this voice thing can do something with creativity, can do something with creative expression. Right now, focus a lot on your imagination. Focus a lot on your creativity. I feel that is a pursuit you guys would resonate with. And you have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Okay, I feel it's time for you guys to let go of um, any like limiting beliefs, right? Any beliefs or maybe truths that other people have told you that don't resonate with you anymore. It feels like you guys are really like on the verge of, I'm kind of getting this energy like your old, say, your old self has been maybe like slowly dying off and now you're ready to almost have like this rebirth if it feels like within you like within your energy with your within your beliefs i feel this message is really important for you today because it keep it keeps like um i keep looking at it and it says i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth it feels like you guys have come to a point right now where you're just ready to honestly become the highest version of yourself or become the most authentic version of yourself and what you need to do is to just release those little like lingering feelings of maybe any limiting beliefs any beliefs that are kind of holding you back um because it feels like you guys are really close okay and destiny wants to like encourage you to again focus on creativity focus on the creative aspects of your mind uh because that's what's going to push you forward i see you i see that's where you guys are gonna shine like maybe some of you have been having doubts about creative pursuits or having doubts about voicing your opinions or using your voice for something and maybe those are like the last like lingering limiting beliefs that you need to release in order to step into this highest version of yourself um, but it feels like you guys are very close and this is almost destiny telling you like you're just on the verge of it so soon you're going to experience a lot of change because once you let go of the limiting beliefs or any of those beliefs that are like keep feeling keep um, you feeling guilty once you release those fully that's when you will become the authentic version of yourself and that's when you will see a lot of change in your life happening okay let's see what else does destiny want to tell you let's get your tarot cards here Destiny, what do you want to tell to pile number one today? So you guys have the four of swords. I'm seeing more harmony and peace stepping in your life. Um, you have the four of swords and justice. So this is telling me that something will finally give you a sense of justice. Finally, something will give you a sense of like rest, a peace of mind almost. Because the four of swords is about like having peace, is about having harmony. It's, uh, it's about rest and the just justice coming with it. It's telling me that if things didn't sit right with you before or if you guys felt wronged in your past or you felt not seen, right? We have here the the person uh, person's eyes are covered. If you guys didn't feel seen before and you felt like this was like a source of injustice, I see that changing for you because you guys are finally letting go of whatever doesn't resonate anymore. So I see you guys stepping more again into your authentic truth, into your authenticity, which is going to give you a sense of peace and a sense of justice. I do see you guys also, again, if some of you felt like you were mistreated or if you guys felt not seen, not recognized, I see there being justice in that sense. Because justice is also about like good karma and receiving karma. So I feel a lot of you, this is coming in like for your own good. Like you guys are going to feel justice towards yourself and towards your past almost. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So this is positive. It's positive change. 
I like this. Ten of Cups is the, like, you know, the happily ever after. I feel you guys are gonna see, like, a happily ever after to a story of your life that has been maybe going on for a couple of years. You know, maybe, again, a lot of you maybe felt wrong in the past. Maybe you felt unseen. Maybe you felt unrecognized, no matter how hard you worked or how much you tried. But then with the Ten of Cups, it's showing me that you're finally gonna get a happily ever after. So this justice is gonna bring you that feeling of, like, like now I'm I'm settled. Now I'm I'm happy because I received my half liver after. I hope that makes sense. You also have the tower card. So you're definitely gonna go under some changes. I'm hearing like burning whatever doesn't reson resonate anymore or letting go of whatever doesn't uh, resonate anymore. So this letting go, this like letting this tower moment to happen in your life, which is uh in your specific case, I'm seeing that this tower is going to um, burn away all of the things that are limiting you from becoming your authentic self. So I'm not seeing like things falling apart um, in like a bad sense, but I'm seeing them falling apart in a way of like whatever guilt you're holding on to, whatever limiting belief you're holding on to, whatever bad habit you're holding on to. I see if you let those things fall apart, you're going to be transition into this ten of cups and you have the eight of pentacles i see yeah i see your hard work paying off palm number one i feel a lot of you have been really focused here for a while you have been dedicated to something you have been working really hard and you're finally gonna get the justice for your hard work and for your perseverance i want to say almost here because I feel that you, what you guys are doing is really good with the eight of pentacles is showing me that you've dedicated a lot of yourself to this to whatever project you're working on, whatever product maybe you want to release or uh, whatever, you know, podcast or song you want to release, whatever it is. I feel that you have been really dedicated to it. And in the past, it has felt kind of hard because you felt injustice that your um, hard work wasn't seen. But now I see that because you guys are stepping into your authentic self, you're going to be in the energy to attract the recognition that you're seeking. So with that, you're going to receive justice and you're going to finally get your happily ever after. But in order for this to happen, I do see a tower moment coming in beforehand. And again, this tower moment is going to bring you a lot of sense of peace. So the tower is not always a bad energy. Um, you know, if it resembles falling apart of things in our life that we do not want, then that's a good sign, right? So I feel this tower is going to come in, and this is you. I feel you're going to trigger this tower moment to happen, and it's going to happen within you where you really just like let go of any of these limiting beliefs that you have. That's what's going to create the change and transformation within you. So don't be, uh, don't be afraid when I say the tower moment. I know some people can get maybe scared when they hear uh, about this card but in your case i'm seeing it like you triggering this by setting your foot down and being your authentic self and just letting whatever you know kind of limiting beliefs you, ha you have been holding on to fall apart i see that's the way this tower moment is going to happen in your life what else pal number one does destiny want to tell you today conclusions are within reach yeah i'm seeing something soon is going to reach conclusions as i mentioned it feels like this journey is concluding this sense of injustice is, is concluding and you're finally going to have a sense of justice that's what i'm getting here for you okay let me see if you can see this card so i feel that conclusions are within reach pal number one uh very soon and you know i feel this is up to you right i feel it's up to you when you decide to trigger the tower moment within you uh, that's when you will get the conclusions, but it feels like you're very close to it. So I'm not seeing this being too far away. Maybe it's going to happen within this month. Maybe it's going to happen within the next month. That's kind of where I'm feeling you guys are at. Um, you have full moon eclipse. So maybe that's a timing for some of you. Uh, but it does feel like soon a lot of the things that have been holding you back are going to fall apart, which are going to, and this is going to happen instantly, right? Um, as soon as you let go of these things, I see more peace and a sense of justice entering your life. I feel like you're finally going to get the recognition. You're finally going to feel like, wow, it was all worth it. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting here for you. Let's see what else does this thing want to tell you from my lovely poem number one. Universe, can you please give us messages? You have clear chords, divine connection. I also heard divine timing. Wow, so this is very specific. There's, I feel that a lot of you have grown a lot spiritually and what you're going to see right now is going to feel very divine. I almost feel like you guys are going to get a new sense of faith, a new sense of connection, maybe with God or the universe or 
whoever you choose to work with spiritually. But there is something about your spiritual connection that's also going to get deeper with this transformation. Because in order to let go of these limiting beliefs, you do need to have trust, right? Whether it's in God or the universe or, um, or spirit guides, you have to have a sense of trust. To trust that if you let go of this past version of yourself, better changes are going to come your way. And I feel that this moment will also trigger your divine connection to grow stronger. So this transformation is its not only going to be within you, but also feel your connection with your divine. It's going to get stronger. It's going to get more connected. And you guys are going to feel more supported. Okay, so in your reading, let's get some angel number cards here. Call number one. What does destiny want to tell you guys? Let's see. So you have five, five. This is a number of change. Yeah. And you have, I am evolving. Yeah. I'm telling you, you guys are changing. You're evolving. There's transformation within you that's happening right now. Substantial change is in your future and you have your changes coming, right? So it does feel like ch changes are coming and you have conclusions are within reach. A lot of things are going to start to make sense for you guys. This change is going to bring a lot of like sense of um, conclusions, I want to say. Embrace the change and need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. So this is exactly what I was saying with letting go of the limiting beliefs. Uh, when you guys let go of the limiting beliefs, whatever that final limiting belief is that you have, once you let go of it, that's when you will see this change because it will trigger you to evolve. It will trigger you to transform within, which is also going to change your reality. Okay, so change is coming in your future and you have the number 17. I am independent. This is the, um, I just thought of the star card. So I definitely feel a lot of you, you're meant to be in the spotlight here. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. I feel that something that a lot of you will maybe resonate is that your journey to success might be very independent. So you know, it, this is why we should always just not compare ourselves to other people because sometimes we might see some people and they work in a team of people. Maybe they have a team of people supporting them, guiding them. But then sometimes we're like, well, we're so alone and nobody is helping us. Maybe just the best way for us to be is to be independent, right? And I see that you might resonate with that, with the fact that your journey to success will be very independent. So some of you might have some mentors along the way but I see most of you doing these things alone because that's, I feel that's when you work your best. When nobody is interfering in your business, nobody is telling you what to do, nobody is, um, you know, it's, it's nice to have somebody who you can learn from and somebody who can guide you, who can give you a sense of guidance, which is what a mentor can do for you guys. But I see you best working on your own. That's when you can be your most authentic self. That's when you can show your real art almost is what I'm getting. So if some of you have been working on something alone, trust that that is the best way for you is what I'm getting from your cards, poem number one. But I feel that's what I have for your message today. I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful poem number two. If you guys chose this file, then this is going to be a reading today about why did destiny bring you to this video today. So poem number two for your card, you guys have the change card right here. Okay, very beautiful image. What I heard for you, poem number two, is that change is coming your way. Maybe some of you are going to travel somewhere soon. Maybe you're, gonna, you're about to fly somewhere is also what I'm getting. Maybe move somewhere. This could be locational change for some of you as well. I'm seeing this, if you are going through this, I see this bringing a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity. Okay, um, so the changes that are going to come to you, they're going to feel very positive. It does. That's kind of what I'm picking up from your energy. Let's get some oracle cards to start with your reading today, poem number two. What does Destiny want to tell you? Let's see, pile two. Destiny, what would you like to tell to my lovely pile number two for their message today? So let's see. You guys have the frog stepping into your power. Don't take a backseat in your story. It's time to step up. Wow, there's also change in your character. It feels like you guys are becoming more powerful, right? Stepping into your power. 
don't take the backseat in your story it's time to step up i'm kind of getting like you're gonna put yourself out there as well you guys are ready to put yourself in the spotlight right not take the back seat anymore let's see what this is about and you also have the sea turtle with conversation make conscious choices interesting i'm seeing the choices that you have made up until now they have been very precise and you have been very conscious when making your decisions pile number two so i feel you're not uh, maybe like a maybe you are like a risk taker that's kind of what i'm getting from you because you have the change card i do feel that you're open to change you're open to stepping out of your comfort zone um but you're very conscious when you make your decisions you're very like i'm gonna think through a type of person i'm not just gonna go irrationally into it maybe i will take a few, couple of days to sleep on an idea or something like that so it feels like you're very conscious when making your decisions and I see that in the past on your journey, by doing this, by making this practice, you guys have continuously made right decisions when it comes to your life path. Um, although this has kept you kind of in that energy of safety, in the energy of like you're still in the backseat, although your um, decisions have been really, I, I want to say spot on and right, they have kind of kept you guys in the backseat for some reason. I'm getting like this energy of like, you haven't, taking taking risks but also playing it safe at the same time almost um and i feel that now with this change that's coming your way because we do clearly see there's some kind of change i feel a lot of you are going to be like more upfront with your actions or more bold with your actions so you're still going to you know still continue to make the conscious decisions but this time around you're going to be more bold. You're going to be more like, okay, it's it's enough. I've, I've had enough of being in the backseat. I've had enough of maybe doing things behind the scenes and kind of being quiet, holding my head down. I see you guys almost like when you walk now, holding your head high and um, whatever you're doing, Maybe you maybe you have been making some things but not putting them maybe on social media or not presenting them to people. It feels like you were just preparing or training. Like that's kind of what I'm getting. But now you're ready to put yourself out there is what I'm feeling here for you. Or you're finally ready to maybe part ways with something that's going to allow yourself to put yourself out there more. It could be something as like maybe leaving a job to go independent, right? Or um, start your own company in the same kind of field that's going to allow you to shine. That is kind of what I'm getting from you. It's like you're um, you're backing away from some from being in the back burner to being upfront. So it's something like that that I'm getting from you. Let's see what else. Why did destiny bring you to this reading today? Pile number two. So you guys have death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. And you also have happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. I love this energy, you know? Uh, the death card, I honestly, I always see it as a positive card to receive uh, because it always indicates change. And um, although endings can sometimes be sad, here it says that endings are merely new beginnings and you have the happiness card following, which is letting me know that this kind of ending, which I feel this ending is almost too to you to you making like the decision to not be behind the scenes anymore that's the main energy that i'm getting so you're putting an ending to being behind the scenes you're putting a death to this and that's going to allow you that's going to allow space for change for new beginnings which are going to lead to more happiness with uh, for you so because you have change here and I heard that changes are coming your way. It does feel like moving forward, once you put an end to this pile number two, you're going to start to feel a lot more happy because you're going to feel like you're on the right path. And it's going to feel like you guys are pursuing your life purpose. You're pursuing your destiny. So if you guys are moving somewhere, again, I see this bringing a lot of happiness to you. I did say that the changes are, that are coming your way, they feel positive. They feel happy. And I almost see this death card as like an ending of a chapter of your life, an ending to you being in the shadows, an ending to you um, maybe not letting yourself to fully pursue something is also what I'm getting. Because again, with the make conscious choices, it does feel like you guys have been kind of uh, maybe have been taking risks, but still being conscious, still playing it safe, staying within your comfort zone. And I feel that's a smart way to go about it. But now at your journey where you're at, where you are at, I feel that you're just ready to kind of step up a little bit more, put yourself out there more and just 
reveal yourself to the world like that's kind of what i'm getting for you i'm hearing with this death card like this ending is going to give you a very happy new beginning so whatever you're ready to put an end to whether this might be your ego it might be your current location it might be again putting an end to being always in the back so this thing that you're going to pursue it's going to bring forth a lot more happiness and positivity for you guys let's see what else for my lovely poll number two destiny what would you like to tell to poll number two in this reading today what changes are coming in for poll two let's see so you guys have wow ten of swords this and the death card this is going to be very powerful i'm telling you because this card it talks about um an ending to the pain an ending to suffering and an, it, it cannot hurt no more after this um it represents kind of defeat almost because after this the sun rises and a new beginning presents itself so this really connects with your story i feel pal number two i feel a lot of you you're gonna come to a point of ending which is going to allow a new beginning a new and more positive beginning to come in and this doesn't have to be like so harsh right i know the ten of swords can sometimes seem like we have this person here stuck with so many swords so it can appear maybe a, a lot of suffering but it, it can be just as little as little as like feeling unhappy right it can be so subtle it can be you know feeling not seen feeling like you you're just ready for something new. You're ready for some kind of change, right? It doesn't have to mean that a lot of you are feeling sad right now or you feel like you're suffering. It can just be as like, okay, I've, I feel like I fulfilled my duty here. I fulfilled my purpose here, but I'm ready to step up. I'm ready to do something more, right? I'm ready for the next level. So you guys are putting an end to this old chapter of your life and welcoming something new. You have the sober card. I'm seeing this kind of as like the lover's card almost. Or or no, this is kind of giving me like your angels are giving you support. They're giving you protection. They're giving you like a go ahead, pursue. That's kind of what I'm getting with that card. Pursuing the changes. Yeah, the fool. This is about new beginnings. Look at this. You have the ten of swords, which is again ending of a chapter. And then I heard with the sober card, your angels are supporting you. They're protecting you in this new beginning. So the fool, if you guys are moving somewhere, it might feel like a stretch. It might feel like a bit of a risk. But this is like a go ahead. I'm curious for you guys are telling you go ahead and pursue. I feel that like moving forward, you guys are gonna be maybe a bit bolder in your decisions and a bit um maybe taking like um a bigger risk it might seem like a bigger risk but you're still going to be conscious in your choices the universe is still telling you like keep up that conscious decision making but that doesn't mean that you can not it feels like you guys are maybe just like reaching for more or striving for more it doesn't have to be so much of like a risk like i'm gonna invest so much money into this it can be just like i'm gonna aim higher this time or i'm gonna aim for something better yeah, you have the seven of wands you guys are protected right now that's what i what that's what i'm seeing with the seven of wands i feel that your angels want to let you know that you're safe in this new beginning you are protected things are going to go well if you guys are planning to move somewhere things are going to go smoothly if you guys are planning to release some things you're protected in doing so or whatever decision right now you have made you're safe into pursuing it that's what your spirit guys are telling me and you also have these seven of pentacles so this is about results I'm seeing a lot of you seeing the results of the actions and the decisions, the choices that you've made in the past right now. They're going to start to come in. And I feel this is going to be positive for a lot of you because it does seem like you have been making the right choices. So if you've made uh, a lot of right choices, smart choices, decisions in the past, I see those coming in right now with the results. Because sometimes, does it, it, you know, for results, sometimes we do need time, right? That's the only thing. Let's see what else poll number two what does destiny want to tell you guys expect powerful change you have change and expect powerful change you have to take time to breathe out honestly this is like the universe telling me like um enjoy your time of peace while you can because things are gonna get crazy okay because you have to take time to breathe out so right now enjoy your time to maybe rest a bit more to maybe 
focus more maybe on self-care doing things that are going to bring you more peace because it does feel like maybe this is moving for a lot of you because I'm, i keep going back to the fool or it's beginning something new once you start pursuing this new path things are going to get a bit crazy that's kind of what i'm getting or i'm kind of getting like you're never going to be able to you know be the same anymore like you're never going to be able to maybe have this peaceful lifestyle or this easygoing lifestyle this slow maybe slow way of living for some of you because it does feel like from now on things are gonna get a bit hectic and it feels like this is what you what you're aiming for though because if you reach higher would go along with that goes with a different kind of lifestyle a different way of being let's see what else palm number two what does destiny want to tell you at this moment you guys have earth element with grounding. Yeah, ground yourself right now. Again, take your take this time to rest. Take this time to um, gather your thoughts is also what I'm getting. Because I do feel moving on. A lot of you are not going to have the same kind of life anymore. This is in a positive way. You know, I feel just a lot of things will change, right? Maybe your location is going to change. And maybe your daily routine is going to become more busy. And... Um, Maybe you're not going to have so much time for some people in your life anymore. Because it does feel like your life is going to get more exciting. Your life is going to get busier almost. Let's get your angel number message here, Paul number two, turn your reading. What is something that Destiny would like to tell you guys? So you have the number six, I am nurturing. Again, something about taking better care of yourself or taking this time to nurture yourself more. So it says your heart is your gift, you're a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I'm getting this is more like nurturing yourself at the moment, like um, taking better care of yourself, taking better care of your energy, because it does feel like a lot of you maybe need a break, maybe need some time to reflect. So just take this time to ground yourself because it does feel like soon there will be a lot of changes coming your way. And you have I'm a pioneer. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life, in work, and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. Yeah, I did mention a lot that a lot of you have been like maybe taking some big risks, although you um, are the type of person to really calculate those risks, like really uh, minimize them to the point where it doesn't even feel like a risk anymore. That's kind of why I feel a lot of you have been taking risks but playing it safe. Um, I'm also seeing with the full a lot of you, again, you're going to pursue something that's going to give you a sense of independency, uh, whether that is moving out or, again, pursuing a career independently. It does feel like there's a lot more independence as well on your journey moving forward, whereas you're going to have to rely a lot on yourself. But I feel this is where you thrive, right? This is where you do your best. Sometimes some of you might feel like people can get in your way because... Um, you know, you have to factor in a lot of things when you're working with other people and sometimes you cannot so much rely on other people whereas when when you're by yourself, you know that you're going to get something done. So it does kind of feel a lot of you do really well independently, pursuing a more independent path. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for your reading today, poem number two. I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello my beautiful pile number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about why did destiny bring you to this video right now. So pile number three, for your card today, you guys have the simplicity card. So the first thing that I heard for you, pile number three, is that this reading, this video is a sign for you guys. Some of you maybe have asked for a sign or this is the universe, this is destiny wanting to let you know. Take this reading, take this video as a sign. Um, after this, or maybe you have been recently seeing signs, so maybe after this reading, you're gonna, you're gonna start to see a lot of repeating numbers, maybe feathers, maybe some hidden messages through songs, through TV shows. But just pay attention to the signs is what I'm hearing for you, poll number three. I'm kind of getting like the universe is gonna give you signs as like a direction on how to pursue, how to simplify your life, or how to simplify your path. 
there's something about clarity that's coming in your life here because you also chose the clear chords so i'm getting the universe is i heard the universe is clearly communicating with you guys that's what i'm hearing for you let's get some cards for you i feel these two are already wanting to come out so let's see part number three you guys have the cat with speak your truth this one came out for part number one as well have strength, faith, and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. Um, maybe this is a sign, right? Maybe this is your sign to start speaking. Maybe this is your sign from the universe to start uh, using your voice for something. Again, this one came for palm number one as well. Oh, you got the same cards as palm number one. That's very interesting that they came out for you as well. Maybe you felt also drawn to palm number one. Uh, but you have Raven with wise woman. A change is coming. Okay, interesting. I feel maybe you needed to hear the same message from Paul number one as well when it comes to um, using your voice, right? I, I did kind of say like this video might give you a sense of like a sign. You might experience this video as a sign. Um, so I feel the universe is letting you know that there is going to be change that's coming your way. Um, once you start to use your voice for something or once you voice your opinion for something, once you start to speak your truth, if some of you have been wanting to use your voice and you ask for a sign if that's the right direction for you, if that's the right pursuit for you, then this is a yes for you guys. If you have been wanting to maybe communicate something to somebody, um, I see this is like a go ahead because this will create change. Right? Maybe some of you have been wanting to, it doesn't always have to be about like singing when we get these messages. Um, it can be also maybe you have been wanting to communicate your honesty maybe with your boss right maybe with a person um but i see you voicing your opinion or using your voice to be honest to be authentic to be truthful will bring a positive change your way this will bring in change so take this video as a sign take this video as a confirmation that's kind of what i'm getting with your simplicity card here because it feels like the universe is giving you simple instructions on how to create change in your life. It's interesting. Let's see what else. Destiny, what would you like to tell to call number three to this video today? You guys have worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And you also have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Interesting, because you have I'm I'm learning that worry doesn't change the outcome, and then you have growth. Um, learning this lesson, right? Learning that worrying about something, sitting there and just actively worrying and being anxious about a situation, learning that that doesn't change the situation is a big part of growing. It's a big part of growth and spiritual development. So I see you guys learning this i see you guys growing okay it feels like you guys are growing in your spirituality in your sense of self in your insight as well so you have i'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome and once you learn a lesson you will see change right that is why you have a change is coming because you guys have learned that just sitting and actively worrying won't really change the situation and when once we learn that the lesson the reaction is instant. It happens in an instant. So that's why there is going to be change coming your way. And with the growth card, I'm expanding my consciousness and my awareness. Because you're expanding your consciousness and your awareness, you're going to start to make different kind of decisions. You're going to start to put out uh, different kind of actions in the world, which are going to, you know, reflect into changes in your life. So do you feel a lot of you're going to become more confident when it comes to voicing your opinion? Maybe that, I feel that, I don't know, speaking something or voicing your honest truth is what's going to create the change in your life. And some of you maybe taking this action has been making you feel a bit anxious or worried or maybe you have been feeling insecure about this. Um, but sometimes anxiety doesn't come from us doing that certain things. It, it comes from us not doing it, right? Um, it comes from us procrastinating when we know what we can do in a situation. Um, so I feel that stress and worry a lot of the times it doesn't come from there not being a solution, but it comes from us not taking steps or not pursuing the solution, procrastinating, right? So I feel a lot of you, you're learning that just by worrying, it's not, nothing is going to change. In order for things to change, you do need to grow, you do need to expand, advance and do something different. And I feel like you're going to start to apply this, right? Destiny is giving you this as a sign, right? 
maybe some of you deep down you have been feeling like okay if i if i just say it or if i just you know put my voice out there if i just start this like i know i can make something happen but maybe you haven't letting your your worry your self-doubt get get to you and i feel the universe is giving you this as a sign of like go ahead and do it is the only way to change your situation to change your current state to grow see what else poll number three what does destiny want to tell you guys today oh your cards are really flying out i feel these are too many yeah these are too many let me shuffle again let's get one more poll number three what does destiny want to tell you Okay, let's take a look here at your cards one by one. So you guys have the nine uh, of wands. This is kind of the card when we are on the verge of something. I'm kind of getting you guys have had enough of waiting. Or you guys, some of you might be feeling like a little bit like burnt out. And this is because you have been waiting or procrastinating something too much. Um, a lot of you, I feel in the process of keeping yourself almost safe and protected, you have to a, to an extent maybe like made yourself even more anxious right sometimes we're like well if we just take the safe option we're gonna be fine um but then as time goes by we're kind of realizing that maybe taking the risk would have been a better choice and i feel some of you might be coming to that conclusion right now this is going to help you grow right ace of pentacles this could be something about your career i feel a lot of you have been playing it safe to your regarding your career and that has been kind of feeling like keeping you feeling stuck but i want to say something important for you right now you're on the verge of a breakthrough a lot although some of you might be feeling exhausted and you might be feeling tired and frustrated that is when we uh reach that breaking point that we that triggers the transition within us when because sometimes we need to become a bit frustrated with life in order to create change right if we're not going to do it naturally if, if we're not going to do it when our intuition comes in and our intuition guides us because uh, sometimes we intuitively, you know, uh, we are constantly receiving intuitive um, instructions and insight on how to pursue something. But sometimes we're like, oh, no, that it doesn't matter. You know, that's not what I'm supposed to do. That seems too much of a risk. I don't know if I can do that. And then that kind of builds up and builds up. And that's what creates frustration. And after that initial like breaking point, that's when we create the change. That's when we're like, OK, I've had enough. I have to do this. So I see some kind of new beginning in your career coming in here, Three of Swords. I feel this is coming in after a long time of maybe not feeling satisfied in your career or feeling, again, disappointment when it comes to your career. I feel that's kind of resonates with what I was saying with like that breaking point that some of you might be reaching when it comes to your, maybe some of you have been so dissatisfied with your career and you're like, I need to like change something about it, but you have been avoiding change and i feel now it's like you you, you just have to do it because it's the only option yeah the sun so look at this this is going to allow more happiness in your life the sun card is positivity i see a lot of you are growing you're learning right from your past which is important and you are definitely transitioning towards better with the sun here and the moon i'm hearing accept the unknown don't be afraid of the unknown a lot of you you might be feeling scared right because your intuition might be telling you to pursue something new to pursue something that's not familiar to you guys um and you know our mind our body it likes to do that it likes to keep us safe so sometimes we're like it's better to just play it safe because that way we will be protected we'll be happier right but in the long run you kind of realize that maybe keeping yourself safe is not the best option for you because it kind of has been keeping you in a loop it has been maybe making you unhappy so I see you guys reaching more for the unknown. I mean, maybe when it comes to your career pursuit, that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, the moon, this is letting your intuition guide you. So although it feels, again, a bit anxious and it feels a bit uncertain, um, by following what your intuition is telling you to do, you guys are going to be led to more happiness is what I'm seeing here for you. Um, you have nothing is yet set in stone and a win-win outcome is forecast. This is telling me that just because maybe things have felt disappointing in your past and you also have it's time to release negativity so it's time to release the past is what i'm getting from this with this card nothing is yet set in stone it's indicating that just because 
um maybe you come from poverty doesn't mean that you have to be like that for the rest of your life because your life is not set in stone nothing is set in stone we're living in a reality that's constantly changing depending on our beliefs and our thoughts and where we direct our attention towards so it's it's telling you right now if you feel dissatisfied with your current situation you don't have to accept it and feel like this is how you're going to live for the rest of your life because your life is not set in stone. There's still space for you to change. And you have a win-win outcome is forecast. It's telling me that if you guys pursue the change right now, you will win. There will be a positive outcome to your situation. I feel that's something that destiny wants to tell you. Maybe this is your destined moment to create change in your life, to create the direction, to change the direction of your life. Whatever area of your life you guys have felt dissatisfied with, I feel like there is some intuitive directions that you have been getting to pursue in order to create this change, but you have been avoiding it uh, because you have been wanting to keep yourself safe. That's kind of what I'm getting. But you're kind of finally at that point where you're just like, I have to do it because otherwise it feels like it kind of feels like you've maybe gotten into the point where keeping yourself safe. And it has become more of a chore or or a risk rather than pursuing the unknown or pursuing what your intuition has been telling you to do. Uh, but again, it's telling me with nothing is yet set in stone, your future doesn't have to be the way that it is right now. Because, you know, your, your, your life is not determined. You can change it at any time you wish. You have the free will, it's what I'm hearing. Maybe some of you need to hear that. Again, take this video as a sign. Let's see what else, Pond number three, what does destiny want to tell you guys? You have practical magic with energy. Okay, I see you guys. I see your energy is shifting. I see your energy is changing. Maybe some of you want to do some cleansing of your energy. Maybe some of you want to start to focus more on spirituality. Maybe you want to start learning tarot, whatever it is. It does feel like a lot of you, your energy towards things is changing. You are kind of at that point where you are going to change. That's kind of what I'm getting for you. So just let the change happen. Call number three, that's what I'm hearing for you. Let's end your reading with some angel number cards to see if there's any last messages destiny wants to tell you pal number three destiny what would you like to tell to pal number three at this moment let's see so you guys have wow look at this 11 11 speaking of signs i feel this is like the biggest sign we always get this is the, the number when it shows up and um it's telling us that we're going towards the right thing so you have i'm awakening Again, this is your sign, pile number three. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and help you wake up to who you truly are. I am awakening. I feel a lot of you right now, you might be going through your spiritual awakening. That's why you have practical magic with energy. It does feel like a lot of you, you are going right now through an awakening and you're kind of coming to the realization that... Um, Maybe life isn't set in stone. Maybe life, it's not predetermined, right? This is the part of the awakening. And a lot of you are going to leave something behind that has been causing you to feel this way. I want to say pursuing the unknown will bring in a lot more stability for you rather than pursuing the safe option. Like that's kind of what I'm getting. And you have the number 13. I'm confident. Be confident in yourself, guys. You are a consciousness worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined on track on track, sorry, as you work steadily towards your goal. So something there's something about practicality. You know, when we say take a risk, it doesn't mean that we have to throw practicality out the window. Alright. So even though you guys maybe want to pursue something that's unknown and it feels risky, still keep the practical side of things, right? Still think about things, make conscious decisions. But you have the number 13, you have 11, 11, 1, 3, right? Uh, so a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you are seeing the number 13. We usually start to see this card when things are about to end and positive changes are about to occur in our life. Um, so it does feel like you guys are in alignment for things to change. You are aligning yourself towards uh, opportunities um, that can help you create change in your life. And I'm here just allow changes to come in, allow yourself to change, allow yourself to pursue something else. 
um, if you feel called to, because this is what's going to lead to a win-win outcome for you guys. Again, I feel a lot of you, you, especially with this card here, that you're learning that worries don't change anything. It does indicate that you guys are growing, which is a part of spiritual awakening. So I do feel just allow yourself to experience through this time because you are going through a spiritual, a spiritual, sorry, awakening. And be more confident in yourself. I'm seeing that with the this card here. Be more confident that you can pursue these changes and you can create these changes in your life. Poll number three. So that's what I have for your reading today. I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.